Hey guys, welcome back. Another night in the garage here. And first of all, thank you so much for all the support with the first drive video. If you haven't seen it already, it's like two minutes long. It's a ton of fun to put together. And I really appreciate all the support there. Definitely a big milestone in this project. So what are we talking about today? Well, if you happen to have watched that video, you'll notice that uh, essentially as soon as we get off of that first acceleration, the engine completely breaks up, basically losing all power. And I wasn't really sure what was going on, but the first idea I had was fuel starvation. I had not updated the fuel pump in the car, so it was definitely a mystery. And just with what was happening, I kind of had the idea that the initial prime was filling up the fuel rail, filling up the filter, and then after we got through that first rev, it would basically run out of fuel and kind of fall on its face. So what I did the other night, uh, I wasn't filming, but I went ahead and replaced the fuel pump, uh, and essentially it kind of went something like this. Where are they? Killing is making a choice. Where are they? Choose between. So now that I have the brand new Walbro 255 pump in there, you know we've got great fuel pressure but unfortunately that did not solve the problem. And while it idles a little bit smoother, I still run into that stalling issue where you go ahead and you rev it and then it just kind of breaks up and falls on its face and essentially wants to shut off. So step two is to figure out this mass airflow sensor placement. Where I had it before uh, is basically on the end of the intake or really right before the turbo housing um, just kind of like your normal OEM factory location for one of these sensors. But where we run into problems is with the blow-off valve releasing metered air before it hits the ECU. And what that does is it essentially confuses the ECU. It, it's anticipating a whole bunch of air. That air never arrives and we run into a mega rich situation. So the resolution for that is to take this mass airflow sensor move it upstream onto the cold side of the intercooler piping really right before the throttle body. So now when that blow off valve opens up, it does release that air, but that is ahead of the mass airflow sensor. So how do we go about accomplishing that? We'll basically chop this off, put some couplers on and run it in line right around here. Okay, now that that's sorted out, it's officially too late to start the car. They, I, guess, I mean, I guess they call them blast pipes for a reason. This thing is so freaking loud. I didn't have a proper audio set up for that first drive video, but trust me, it is so loud. Uh, so I've got this all sorted out and we'll pick this up tomorrow. Okay, it's a new day. And we go ahead, open up the garage and we'll fire it up. I think that fixed it. It is so freaking loud and so obnoxious. I don't really know what to make of that. But the good news is, is that the stalling, the breaking up seems to be resolved. Uh, we're capping out at like eight PSI, which I think is totally safe for an owl. I'm gonna skip the test drive and keep working in the garage here while I've got the time. And you know, it's Thanksgiving weekend, so maybe we'll get that test drive in another time this weekend. But until then, I think we'll just move on to some other stuff and you know, take the win where we get it.